Uh, we're seeing a very large need in the space community. There's the drive for more onboard processing. Some more concentrated heat loads and the space copper water heat pipes can help spread that heat load. A satellite, there's no access for maintenance or repairs when, when something goes wrong. Technology has to operate in a known operation for a certain lifetime. Some of the challenges in the space environment uh, are the wide temperature extremes that the heat pipes will see. So water freezes at zero C and it expands about 10% when it does. So we need to accommodate that expansion without seeing any damage to the heat pipe itself. So now we're currently at our generation three design. It's much more robust at both ends. So we don't have to worry about uh, leak paths being generated when that water's freezing. We've developed uh, an internal process to make the wick inside the heat pipe much more robust and we have some ways of really dialing in that fluid inventory. To overcome the challenges of, of operating in a space environment like that, uh, a lot of extensive testing is involved to not only prove out the design, but also weed out any potential failures that may occur uh, in the future. The test regimen that a, a space copper water heat pipe sees is pretty extensive. So there are constant quality checks throughout. Uh, we have some internal steps that we, we have, the customer defines some steps as well. Uh, but at the end of the day, the goal is to get a heat pipe that's reliable for 20 years, and we have the test programs and, and know-how here to do that. What separates ACT from uh, other heat pipe companies uh, in the world uh, is our engineering expertise. So we're, we really know what makes a heat pipe work and what they're capable of. So we can support customers from the early concept generation through the design and analysis as well as make the space flight hardware that they can count on long term.